The next myth I want to deal with is one that the Navy also created, and it's the myth that, and in fact, it was a statement that the Navy made repeatedly over the course of decades that McVeigh had never been court-martialed for the fact that his ship was sunk. He had been court-martialed for failing to zigzag. And the argument was specious because people had been making the point for decades that you know, the fact that he failed to zigzag, if his ship had not been sunk and it made it safely to Leyte, would he, would he have been court-martialed? Of course not. Well, the nail in the coffin of that myth was when we discovered the notes of one of the associate prosecutors during McVeigh's court-martial, a Navy lieutenant by the name of Carl Bowersfeld. And in Carl Bowersfeld's notes, which were contemporaneous, kept during the court-martial itself, it clearly stated that a point of proof for convicting McVeigh had to be that the ship was sunk. And the fact that the ship was sunk was going to be used as evidence that the failure to zigzag had hazarded the ship. In other words, McVeigh was indeed court-martialed for having his ship sunk, despite decades of denials by the Navy. And the discovery of this evidence, I think it was in 19, sorry, in 2016, when Carl Bowersfeld's notes were discovered, was the final bit of evidence that the Navy had been falsifying its claims for decades. So, in fact, McVeigh was court-martialed for having his ship sunk despite decades of denials for the U.S. Navy, by the U.S. Navy. And that should never have happened.